What is going on everybody? Today we are taking a look at a knife from Guardian Tactical. It is the Helix Tanto CF Black Tactical. This knife was a, a long rabbit hole of looking for knives that are unique for the channel. Unique for you guys to take a look at. Even though they are old, this knife is brand new but is seven, yes, seven years old. I'll leave a link in the description from the website of the knife dealer that I found this knife, and they still have some others left over too. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you like Tonto knives and EDC gear, because we always have a lot of good stuff coming for you guys to, to watch. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. So let's get to it. Like I said, I was on a long rabbit hole down looking for some unique Tontos that maybe are still available and, you know, see what we can find. And I found a picture of this knife and I was like, and then I just went on a long, long, long internet swine of trying to find one just even used. And this, I was able to find a website, uh, it's knifeworks.com, and they actually had some brand new 2014s. So this is it. Guardian Tactical 221 Carbon Fiber. Helix 01 2014 USA CPM 154. Very, very nice knife. Very drop shutty. Flips good. Yeah, it's got thumb studs. So you, all your deployments that you want to get. I would have loved to have gotten a satin one. But they had very few. This, this, These knives only ran for... I think about two years, a year and a half, give or take. They were originally, they were originally um, some protect, protecting sort protector services originally hired them to make a knife for them, and that's kind of where this knife came from. So originally, it was for some sort of government agency, I guess, something like that. So. That's where this came from. Then they decided to put some out for the public, and then they put some more out, and and then pretty much that's it, and they dropped off. So it is a liner, partial liner. It, basically what it has is one side on the lock side. It has a full liner that runs down it. You're not going to be able to see it, but... Yeah, there's a full liner that runs the length on this side. That's part of where the lock bar is. Obviously, it's replaceable, and it does not have an over-travel stop. That's the one thing that is a disadvantage. Now, that's not kind of uncommon for knives that were coming out in 2014, so we do have to kind of keep that in mind. So this carbon fiber is just a piece of scale, separate from the other and it's just basically bolted on i guess to the to the liner that's inside there so, and then it has liners on both sides up here and that's what the bearings run on this does run on bearings which is why it's just so drop shutty has a very weird feeling because back in again back in 2014 the bearings were bigger than they are now now there's eight on each side, so there's 16 bearings all together, and that's actually less than what a lot of knives today will use, especially knives of this size. So comparing first knife size, let's compare to the Cold Steel Code 4. So you can see that's a pretty good size knife. The angle of the camera kind of distorts exactly the length, but yeah, it's a good size length. So yeah, with, with the lanyard on the back, it's nine inches long. The actual blade edge is about three and a half inches. And then you have a, a little bit of choil there 
a finger choil, which isn't too bad. You can get your finger in there and not worry about the edge. It's close, so you can see. So, and then what's compared to another knife and for size, the PM2. So obviously, yes, the PM2 being just a little over eight inches, a little bit of a size difference there. So that being said, this is a very cool knife. I like it a lot of, like I said, I would have loved to have gotten the satin, but they didn't have them. So that's kind of what you get when you're buying a knife that's <laughs> seven years old. So let's get a little bit of a thickness check on there. About four millimeters. About a hundred, almost a hundred and sixty thousandths. Yeah, let's get a quick little weight here. It's, it's very light knife for as long as big of a knife as it is, and I've already carried this knife, and so yeah, 480, so of an ounce, so just under five ounces, which is not bad at all for a knife that's nine inches long. The 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 bulk of the carbon fiber certainly makes a difference in that and it's a nice carbon fiber too it's not very plain jane it's very contoured he's got some nice contoured lines in it feels really good in the hand i mean really good the pocket clips a little might be a little pokey for some people it doesn't really bother me too much it just depends on how you decide you're going to be gripping the knife and using it at the time but when I grip it like this, it doesn't really bother me. And that's where you're. That's pretty much how you're gonna grip something if you're really gonna be working some material or really working some cutting. But even like this, it it's kind of in the the weaker spot, so it's not too bad. It flips good. Again, this is a tactical knife, so I mean, it doesn't fall open. But if you do sling it, it will open. And that's kind of normal for a lot of tactical knives, especially knives that are flipper oriented. But it, yeah, it just flips really good. It's got some great overall action. And it's very well made, very well made. The, the details for a knife that, again, came out in 2014. But yeah, Guardian Tactical makes some really good knives. Yeah, so it's a sharp knife. Very, very got a nice edge on it. It's I've already put the tip through some, stabbed it into some trees and into some dead trees and stuff to get pictures and stuff. And yeah, it's a really cool knife. I mean, for the the weight of it too is just feels like it doesn't even feel like it's just under five ounces. It feels a lot lighter than that, but. Yeah, it's a very cool knife. Glad I was able to pick it up. I think it's going to compare well to some knives that are still actually being built today, which I don't have on hand yet. But hopefully, the, the you know, with production levels going up, hopefully they'll be coming up so that I'll be able to get some of those knives to compare. You guys will see the very similar differences that I will bring up when we get our hands on those knives. So, like I said, it's CPM 154 stainless steel. Obviously, it is DLC. I do believe that's DLC coated. Ball bearings. Yeah, very, very nice action. Fits good in the pocket. Not a super deep carry by any stretch of the imagination. But it's a tactical knife. Their tactical knives are meant to be, you know, gripped well with a pair of gloves on and pulled out of your pocket and then maneuvered and used the flipper tab is very little but works awesome it works really good for a flipper tab that's so small for a knife that this blade size it works really good i was actually pretty surprised about that and of course the thumb studs which also act as blade stops i mean very well made knife. I'm really kind of surprised that they're not still making this knife. And I wonder maybe in hopes 
that maybe they'll come out with a new one soon, maybe a more updated version, maybe with some better smaller ball bearings or something, or maybe some DLC blades, maybe even a full titanium version or a aluminum version, giving us a little more of a rugged body. Not that carbon fiber isn't rugged, but I would be a little concerned of that lock with it being kind of just basically a liner lock and the fact that it doesn't have any oval travel stops. So you don't, you got to be real careful about not going over on it because it pretty much will. <laughs> but for it, yeah, for every, the action and everything in the lockup is just, you know, great for a knife of its age and been sitting around for <laughs> seven years in the folded up position i'm sure they had to hit it with some oil and i have actually hit it with some more oil when i got it just to make sure that she was well lubed but there you go guys that is the guardian tactical helix not available but there are some available and i will link it in the description in case you guys want to go check them out it's basically just knife works and then put in guardian tactical helix so that's it for today guys have a great day we'll see you next time